Some of the food tasted like industrial degreaser. Oh. What? Oh. Everything's cold so far, even though it looked hot. Very quiet in there. There's no music on. One above cold, one below warm. Yeah. What's that? Like almost room temperature. Surviving there was the worst part. <laughs> yeah. It felt like a food hall in the mines or something. It's not, it's not fresh. <laughs> We're Lloyd and Mandy. A year and a half ago, we quit our jobs, sold everything we had to travel the world full time. We're currently traveling North America in our RV, and today we find ourselves in Reno, Nevada, about to walk into the worst rated buffet in the city. back with another worst rated video. We're doing a something a little bit different. We're not staying overnight, but today we're eating at the worst rated buffet in the area. Yeah, so we're in Reno, Nevada. We were just passing through on our way to Lake Tahoe. We pulled up to this shopping center here and they have a buffet. I'm pretty hungry. We looked it up. It's got really bad reviews. <laughs> well, it's the same as always. It's mixed. Yes. It's got three stars out of five as an average. Some of them are bad some of them are good and as we were about to go in the owner actually pulled up because we were sitting here in our rv and he just wanted to make sure we weren't like camping overnight or anything because apparently there's weirdos around here he said it's the best buffet in town now he's probably biased because he's the owner but i'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt i'm actually going to go into this assuming it's the best buffet in reno but i don't have high hopes judging by the reviews but we'll see what happens i always would like to have a positive experience over a negative one. So uh, fingers crossed we can this time. I'm just down for an all you can eat, always. <laughs> yeah, you are. Here's some of the reviews. Disappointing decline in food quality. Food was so bad I couldn't take more than a few bites. Nothing was fresh and it tasted like it was cooked in, in expired oil. Some of the food tasted like industrial degreaser. Oh. What? Oh. Like soap? Oh, I think so. Ew. My stomach's already turning, I'm nervous about this. Instead of asking if things were okay, the waitress observing me just brought the check and took a full plate of food off the table without a word. The only time in my life I left a buffet still hungry. I watched another patron return her full plate too. This place used to be decent and great value. A lot of what I've been seeing is maybe it used to be really good. Maybe COVID affected it or mm. something. It looks like it's declined. This yeah. one says, beware. If I could give no stars, I would. Can you not give no stars? If no, you you want. have to give one. So this is one star. My husband and I just walked out after not even a full plate. There are no signs above food stating what it is. Do you, you have just any? Have to guess. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any food allergies, don't eat here. They use the same tongs to mix up food. I don't have any food allergies, so I don't care. Big time, <laughs> big time cross contamination. I guess. Yeah, so. that's gross. Like with chicken and stuff. Oh, I'm. I really don't want to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> nervous. She gave away our table while we were up getting food. Wow. We just had to sit down at a random table. Then we waited several minutes for silverware. Never again. Frankly, if we weren't good people, we would have gotten up and left without paying. Well, you'd probably get in trouble. Paid $38.95 for that mess. So I saw that it was $14 for lunch, but I'm guessing tips and tax. Yeah. And I think you gotta pay for drinks. So I'm seeing on here there's a lot of complaints about the staff. One thing about the previous videos we've done with the worst rated stuff is always the staff have been really good. Yeah. That's always been like the standout thing. Also, I don't think it's fair to blame the staff. Like they're doing their best they're with just, what they got. They probably yeah. are new because there's a high turnover of staff yeah. and they're just trying their best. It's up to the management to make it better. Yeah, totally. This one says the workers here for the most part are okay. We ordered a Dr. Pepper lemonade, Diet Pepsi and a Sprite. The lady gave us three Coca-Colas and a lemonade. <laughs> just doesn't care at all. That's actually kind of funny. I wish I could have done that when I was waitressing. I totally understand. These are very recent. Um, most of the good ones are like at least a year old. So there definitely is a mix. The guy that was working here that Lloyd spoke to said that it's the best buffet in town. Another guy said it was five star. There's a couple four star reviews on there, but there's a lot of one stars as well. So either way, it's not too expensive. I'm hungry. I'm keen for an all you can eat. Hopefully it's edible. And hopefully we don't get sick. And hopefully they don't get angry at us for filming in there. Let's do it. We just want to take a quick second to thank Olafly for keeping us connected on the road. 
If you've never heard of Olafly, they provide international eSIM cards to most destinations all over the world, so you can travel and use the internet without worrying about expensive roaming fees. In fact, you can even keep your own SIM card active while using Olafly, so you can continue receiving phone calls and text messages. They offer a huge variety of data packs ranging from 5 gigabytes a month to unlimited monthly packages. And it's super simple to set up using their QR code. Just make sure you head over to their website and check if your phone is compatible. Simply click the link in the description and don't forget to use code Lloyd and Mandy at checkout for 5% off your order. The owner was telling me there was, had to call police to this parking lot yesterday because there was guys with guns and they were fighting each other. Just sounds pretty shady. <laughs> Drink? Um, just water. Yeah, water. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you going? Good. Some sushi. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken. Probably pork, I guess. Yes. Sushi looks okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you get soy sauce from though. Dumpling sauce. What do you put in it? Mm -hmm. Are those dirty or clean? Probably. Yeah. This looks good actually. Yeah, this is enough to start, I think. Huh? Enough to start with. Do you want me to get yours? Yeah. Everything's cold so far. Even though it looked hot, it's very quiet in here. There's no music going. Went for all carbs. <laughs> you had a pretty good fight. It looks so appetizing up there. Yeah. It's not, not fresh. It's like one above cold, one below warm. Yeah. What's that? Like almost room temperature. <laughs> it probably is room temperature, do you? Yeah. I think it tastes alright. Turn up eating. the heat a bit, like they're in heated, heated serving things. The meat, the meat should be hot. Yeah. It's not. That seems dangerous. Hopefully I'll be alright. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about sushi. Please God. <laughs> Please God, don't make me sick. Yeah, I think it's alright. Mm. It's proper cold though, like. Yeah. It's not room temperature. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Cabbage it's, no, it's, not really it's like cabbage and onion in it, like in an egg ball. <laughs> I didn't get given a knife. Neither. Horse chopsticks. Use my fingers. <laughs> 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 water. <laughs> 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 
Only in seconds, anyway. Nice. Actually looks pretty good. You steal my fork. I went. I'm gonna get all the stir fries this time because they looked hot. They looked fresh. Okay. Let's see if they are. Mm hmm. It's hot? Like, more than warm. Okay. I think she just put them out though. Okay. It's a very slim window. Tastes pretty decent. It's good. It's not all bad. Uh, <clears throat> soft serve machine sound like it's about to break. Really? This is everything you can get. So, this is everything? Yeah. Okay. I guess this is a... Uh, what's this? No idea. Sponge cake. Can try it? No. This is very light. That looks like it'd be nice with tea. Very soft. Can I try that? Yeah. Everything tastes like nothing. <laughs> that tastes the same as that, and that. Okay. Nothing. It's really light, isn't it? Yeah. It's whatever. A bit watery. Mm -hmm. Everything has no flavor to it. How do they even manage that? And why do you do that? I grew up going to buffets like this. It's bringing me back. You like the ice cream? I don't like it. It's like familiar. <laughs> it's not good ice cream, but the taste is familiar. It's like the only thing I've really been able to eat here. <laughs> staff to work at a buffet. Absolutely. Because no one's tipping much. No. Like, what are you tipping for? They're not really serving you. We, I tipped them, but it's like, I can't see anyone going in and leaving like a huge tip. No. Because all you're doing is showing them to their seat. Yeah, yeah, I know. The vibe in there was the worst part. <laughs> yeah. It felt like a food hall in the mines or something. No music, it's a very sort of cold environment. Hey! Hey! hey. Okay, we're back in the RV just outside the buffet. Um, that was disgusting. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No, it's okay. <coughs> I didn't mind it as much as you. All the meat was cold though, which was like... Everything was cold. No, you... the stir fry wasn't. Oh, your new one that you when got When she out. put a new one out, yeah. But all the like, egg rolls and every... <laughs> yeah, we're filming here, man. Yeah. It's, it was the actual restaurant and the ambience, 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 yeah. The vibe of the place that was not great. Like, there's no music. The servers were pretty cold. I, I wouldn't like they weren't rude or anything. They didn't do any wrong. They just weren't. They're not happy to be there, which yeah. is totally understandable. Yeah. Sombre. Yeah. Yeah. Sombre. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah, and the food just like not great. Pretty average. Below were, average. Things like chow mein, for example pretty hard to mess that up. It's a very cheap meal to make as it is. If you're gonna use cheap ingredients and make cheap meals, at least make it somewhat taste like something. Yeah. Nothing had any flavor to it. It was just oil and then what it looked like. They must be able to make a lot of money because it's not really that cheap. $14 plus tax. And there was cheap. quite a few people in there as well. I'm wondering if like just bigger people go in and just eat so much that doesn't make much money. There was like some salad options there, but they looked just not good. It not good. None of there was no like fresh anything worth eating. When I was on an oil rig, I ate way way better than that. So yeah, and it was free. That says a lot. We're gonna go see if we can get some better food than that, and just see what's around Reno before we head out of here. Apparently, that's the best buffet in Reno. 